self-healing materials are really materials that last longer because they have the ability to repair themselves. So already reaching the market are phone covers where the scratches start to disappear after a little bit of time. But if you think bigger, so for example, if you're running an oil refinery, you have miles of pipework and you're of course interested in corrosion and knowing where it's taking place, but also being able to counteract that corrosion. And that's where self-healing materials will be really important. Now that's a very long-term research goal. In the medium term, what we're interested in is using the materials that already exist. So then what we want to do is make smart coatings or surfaces where you can put them on the material and they will be used to identify when something is happening, for example, corrosion, and also where, and then send this self-healing technology to the right place. So who can benefit from these long-lasting self-healing materials? Well, firstly, of course, the manufacturers who own these very expensive assets, they want to be able to extend the lifetime of their product. They also want to be able to manage the maintenance program, and there's significant savings to be made if you can do that. Secondly, the manufacturers who make the self-healing materials or who make the smart surfaces, they'll be offering a very competitive product to the market, so they'll benefit as well. But really there's a much broader benefit which is to society as a whole. We have very few remaining resources and so we need to be able to manage those and use those sustainably. In the Fluids and Advanced Manufacturing Group, what we're really interested in is the underpinning science of how do you make a smart surface where it detects a problem and it tells you where it is and also allows you to deliver this self-healing technology to the right place. We're of course working with a much broader group of collaborators across the IFM, the university and outside the university, trying to understand what kind of manufacturing technology do we need to have in place? How do we scale this up? And finally, we have to work with people who understand implementation. So there's a lot of data and information coming in from these surfaces. How do we use that so that the manufacturer knows how to implement this new product? So what we're really looking for now are more industry collaborations. This research is very challenge focused. So we're looking for real applications in industry where self-healing technology is needed. And then we want to work with people who need either the self-healing technology itself or who want to learn how to develop the manufacturing technology to make the materials or the surfaces. So if you're interested, please get in touch.